Clear Air Force Station Clear Coloque, is a United States Air Force Station radar station for detecting incoming ICBMs and submarine-launched ballistic missiles to NORAD's command center and to provide space surveillance data to Air Force Space Command Space Control Center SCC. Clears and FPS-123 upgraded early warning radar is part of the Solid State Phased Array Radar System which also includes those at Beale AFB, Cape Cod AFS, RAF Filingdales and Thule Site J. The historic property was one of the Alaska World War II Army airfields and later a Cold War BMEWS site providing NORAD data to Colorado's BMEWS Central Computer and Display Facility CC and DF. In addition to the original camp area with buildings still in use today, areas of the station include the airfield ICAO, PACL, the SSPARS site, the technical site Utilada, BMEWS reflectors, support buildings, power plant, and the composite site, two permanent dormitories, a mess hall, recreation area, and administrative area. In addition to the Air National Guard unit, Clear has active duty USAF, Royal Canadian Air Force, civilian, and contractor personnel. History The site's land with the 1918 Alaska Railroad was purchased by the Department of the Interior in 1949 for Alaskan Air Command's Clear Air Force Auxiliary Field for use as a LAD field gunnery range. Total costs for the planned Thule and Clear BMEWS stations in a May 1958 estimate were $800 million. An October 13, 1958, planned for both estimated completion in September 1960. An additional 10 by 40 mile 16 km × 64 km area was appropriated for BMEWS Site 2 CF, BMEWS Site I at Thule. Topic Clear Missile Early Warning Station Clear Missile Early Warning Station construction began in August 1958 with 700 workers, i.e., a construction camp was being erected in September 1958 by Patty McDonald and Morrison Knudsen next to the railroad for $1.7 million. 40,000 feet of railroad were moved by 1959. Groundbreaking for radar structures was May 1959. Baker and Ford built a transmitter and computer building, a heat dissipation system, a radar transmitter building, wells and pump houses, a fire station and utilities and the FPS 50 pedestals were complete by June 2, 1959. In 1959 after the original White Alice Communications System contract, the next segment of WACS, was series of TD-2 microwave installations to support, two routes that linked the Ballistic Missile Early Warning Site BMEWS at Clear AFB, one going down the southeast coast the A route to the Ketchikan Seattle Submarine Cable Asterisk, and the other, going east to the Canada-US border B route through Canada, down to the lower 48 which was Clear's rearward communications system to Murphy Dome A route and the Gold King Creek AFS B route with data for the ENT AFB CC and DF, 3 GE and FPS 50 radar sets were installed with antenna reflectors 165 by 400 feet 50 meters times 122 meters that each weigh 1,000 short tons 910 t, 890 long tons. The building two middle transmitter building had the radar control room and room with the Sylvania and FSQ-28 missile impact predictor set. The Clear MSL Early Warning STN, Nenana, AK, was assigned to Hanscom Field, Massachusetts, on April 1, 1961, and BMEWS Site 2 was completed July 1, 1961. The date of IOC full operational capability was declared three months later. Clear transferred to Air Defense Command in November 1961. By mid-1962, BMEWS quick fixes for ECCM had been installed at Thule and Clear and by June 30, 1962, NTAFB integration of BMEWS and SPAD ATS data was completed. On July 31, 1962, NORAD recommended a tracking radar at Clear to close the BMEWS gap with Thule for low-angle missiles vice those with the 15 to 65 degree angle for which BMEWS was designed North Dakota's Cavalier AFS radar built in 1975 currently monitors for Hudson Bay launches. <laughs> USAF missile warning operations Detachment 2 of the 71st Missile Warning Wing was responsible for operations by civilian contractor personnel until 1964, when Air Force personnel began permanently manning the Tactical Operations Room tour. 
Clear was unable to perform its mission for six minutes due to the record 1964 earthquake. In 1966, the last of the five BMEWS tracking radars was installed in RCA and FPS 92 radar set with an 84 foot 26 meters diameter antenna housed in a 42.7 meter 140 feet diameter radome. The FPS 92 was an improved TBD and FPS 49 radar set variant with radome blocks having two high density 1 mm thick skins that cover a 15 cm thick craft paper core, total of 1,646 hexagonal and pentagonal blocks. The hexagonal blocks were 66 inch panels. FPS 92 completion raised the final construction price of the missile warning system at clear. To $300 million, $62 million by the Alaska District of the Corps of Engineers, e.g., for excavation and poured concrete as during building of the $2.8 million construction camp. Clear provided emergency shelter for 216 flood refugees during August 1967, the same year many temporary buildings were replaced. Clear subsequently provided measurements for a University of Alaska experiment which injected sulfur hexafluoride into the upper atmosphere to see if the aurora borealis could be affected. Clear had bomb alarm system equipment installed by the time the BAS was accepted on 10 February 1961 deactivated in 1970. In 1975, SECDEF told Congress that Clear would be closed when the Shemya Island and Bill AFB radars became operational. After a full radome fire, Clear's FPS-92 radome was replaced in 1981 by first disassembling the tracker, constructing the new radome, and reconstructing the FPS-92. Clear's first all-female crew pulled its first shift on February 28, 1986 the first female, Lieutenant Anderson was assigned in 1973. Beginning in 1987, ITT operated and maintained the Clear BMEWS. Under a USAF Space Command contract and in the 1990s, the Southwest Research Institute upgraded Clear's pulse modulator for the transmitter final stage power amplifier. Topic. Phased array radar On April 16, 1998, groundbreaking for installing 1987 and FPS 115 paved pause components from Texas e the array elements, was held at clear for the more advanced Raytheon and FPS 120 with 2500 solid state transmitter modules. On December 15, 2000, the FPS 50 and minus 92 transmissions ceased. All of the Arecibo Observatory's Lytton L5773 clistrons were obtained as surplus from Clear's decommissioned BMEWS transmitters. Clear's FPS 120 began 24-hour operations when Clear's SSPARS site, separate from the BMEWS site, had initial operational capability on January 31, 2001, the date the entire SSPARS became operational. SSPARS sites were modified in the early warning. Radar Service Life Extension Program. On August 30, 2006, after a transition that began in 2001, the ANG's 213th Space Warning Squadron took on the Early Warning Space Surveillance Mission. BAE Systems began a 2007 contract for SSPARS maintenance, and the Clear FPS 120 was subsequently upgraded to an AN FPS 132 upgraded Early Warning Radar UEWR by Boeing Integrated Defense Systems, featuring processor and software improvements to enhance capability. 